been talking about road trips uh, all week long, but not all road trippers are created equally. Here's some uh, viz of me and my family on our way to a road trip this summer. We were going to Mont Tremblant. And I would say I've got road trip rules for sure, especially with two little ones in the back. As you can see, everyone takes turns with the pumping of the gas. There's lots of snacks in there. Uh, we've got healthy stuff, but mostly junk. And we always stop at a casse-croûte in uh, Quebec because that's where you get the good poutine. And, uh, and we make sure we have uh, everything we need in that in that truck. The one thing I do really badly is I bring too much stuff with me. So we're going to talk a little bit about what kind of road tripper you are with my friends here in the studio. And T, I'm going to start with you. Like, what kind of a road tripper are you? Well, you've been on a road trip with me. And I you know, sure I, have. I'm not pleasant. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I don't, I, the car gets hot, I'm getting dizzy, <laughs> the car's tight, I'm being put to work, I have to uh, run the GPS, uh, pump the gas, I don't like it, I prefer to just fly and I don't have any tasks to do. Yes. And I just feel kind of um, contained after a while, I'm like, let me out of this car, I can't right. stand it. So for T, she knows she needs an airline ticket. Yep. That's how you're getting around. Yep. Okay, Erin, how would you describe yourself as a, as a road tripper? Yeah, I think it's kind of about the snacks. Yes. Did you know that you can build yourself a little charcuterie board for the car? You know, pop it on the dash. Yes. <laughs> Pass it around, maybe individuals yes. as well. Yeah, and the other thing is that I want to make sure that I'm arriving to my destination for happy hour. Oh my gosh, you've got your priorities <laughs> in order. Get the party started, 5 yes. p.m., you know, I want a glass of wine in my hand and, yeah. and, you know, let the good times roll. This is, I love. Oh, so everybody can have actually a little bento box with their yeah, own charcuterie if exactly. you wanted to do that. That's fantastic. All about the snacks. All about the snacks. Okay, <laughs> Julia Grieve, mommy of three. I'm sure that you've got lots to say about the road tripping situation. I know you guys uh, did some trips actually this summer. What kind of road tripper are you? Well, I am a professional road tripper. I have a PhD in road tripping. Okay? No, honestly, I grew up, my parents are both retired teachers, so we grew up with this idea of, like, driving everywhere. Honestly, Tracy, it took me till I was in grade eight to actually realize that people could fly to Florida. Can you imagine? I had no idea. I remember a friend, Di I'm like, Diana, you're on a plane. Mom, did you know you could fly to Florida? She's been lying to me all these years. We had to drive. Right. So, yeah. So, no, I love it. My kids love it. We would choose it over any airline, anytime. Get on a, get in the car. I love it. Do you do do you frequent stops or are you like, no, oh, no, yeah. no, when we hit this point, this is when we stop. No, 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 when we hit this point, this is when we stop. Oh, yeah, it's all organized, man. It's all okay. organized. There's like, there's even like goodie bags at the, the right miles or like this. Yeah. And there's a seat assignment. Every time you get out of the car, you cannot get back into the same seat. Oh. Everybody oh. has to change. It's a new move. It's oh, a new move. And you break everything up, Trace, in two yes. hour blocks. Okay. Two hour blocks. So two hour blocks you could do. Whoa, turn off the screens. It's over. Yeah. We're listening to a book now. The other thing I will say in Canada is that in the 70s and 80s, I don't think many of us were flying anywhere. It was always about getting in a car. My dad was very big on learn the country you were from so we would drive across Canada. Um, and I think it's lovely that we're back there uh, because of the pandemic. Right. We're seeing Canada, which is lovely.